Hey guys, how you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to discuss why the new species, that being the Atrociraptors, might have an interesting secret. Because not too long ago, Empire Magazine revealed our first in-film look at these dromaeosaurs, and many questions have been coming out on these mysterious creatures, mainly on why they aren't feathered or why their size isn't accurate to what we know to be in the fossil record. But what if I were to tell you that all these questions have already been answered, and how these new dinosaurs may be connected to one of Dr. Wu's most dangerous creations from Fallen Kingdom? For today's video guys, I'm going to be discussing why I think these new Atrociraptors may be connected with none other than the mysterious hybrid that is the Indoraptor. Now before I get into the connection between both, I think it's important to first discuss the Indoraptor. Because while we did in fact witness the death of the hybrid at Fallen Kingdom's conclusion, its story doesn't appear to be complete. Flashback earlier in the film when Dr. Wu makes his getaway, because while we do in fact see the Indoraptor's death and the Indominus Rex sample and the labs where the Indoraptor were created, were in fact destroyed at the film's conclusion, Dr. Wu's team was able to successfully collect the DNA of the future Indoraptors, as well as even some eggs, while making their escape. And while it's true that Colin Trevorrow has gone on record to say that Jurassic World Dominion won't have hybrids in the film, it's clear to me that doesn't mean that their story is yet over for the film. Because looking at this new image of the Atrociraptor chasing Owen through the streets of Malta, it's clear to me that both share a striking resemblance to each other, but they're not just for their structure and shape, but also their behavior is even similar and nearly identical in their savagery, and it just can't be a complete coincidence. And I think that it may be possible that the Atrociraptor squad may have a mix of their DNA as well as the Indoraptors, and this would explain why they are not accurate to their fossil counterparts. Unlike how things such as the Pyroraptors and Moros Intreptus will be feathered in the film and paleoaccurate, this does not seem to be the case for the Atrociraptors, because given in my own theories on the Atrociraptors being made to be Biosyn's version of the Raptor Squad from Jurassic World, it stands to reason that they would want to have Dr. Wu combine his work of art of the Indoraptor with the dinosaur of Dr. Lewis Dotson's choosing, and it would be an interesting way of tying the storyline of both the Indoraptor and these Atrociraptors in a perfect blend of chaos. And even on the Empire Magazine's website, in an interview for this image of the Atrociraptors, Colin Trevorrow's description of them leaves a suggestion of this theory of mine being actually true as he describes the Atrociraptors in a very savage and brutal way that shares a similarity to the Indoraptor. As he states, when the Atrociraptors pick you as a target, they will not stop hunting you until they are dead or you are dead. Which we have seen, in fact, with the Indoraptor, as when it was given the chance to escape and leave the Lockwood Mansion for the wilds of California where it could terrorize many more more people and dinosaurs, it chose to continue its hunt for Maisie and Owen throughout the mansion rather than be free in the wild. And even when Blue is attacking the Indoraptor, we still see him try to kill Owen and Maisie, even leaving the Blue for them, which eventually leads to the hybrid's death as Blue manages to get, to get an ambush on it on the building and drop it onto the Ceratopsian skull, which killed it. And if this is to be a sort of connection with the Atrociraptors, it would explain what Dr. Wu was really working on after the events of Fallen Kingdom, besides other dinosaurs such as the Giga and these other creatures that are being made for the film. And it's very doubtful that Dr. Wu, even with the death of Eli Mills and the first Indoraptor, that he would stop his work, because we know that Henry Wu always will continue his work. So, it would be interesting that instead of continuing just the Indoraptors, he would be approached by Dr. Dodson and use his hybrid research and mix it with these Atrociraptors, and this would be a perfect way for 
the filmmakers to have the story of the Indoraptor conclude, as well as the story of hybrids in the franchise as a whole. And it would perfectly show why these Atrociraptors aren't the way they should be, and why they may be a more savage creature than we originally thought. But anyway guys, what do you think about this idea of mine? Do you think it's possible that we'll be shown that the Atrociraptors are indeed a hybridized mix of their DNA and Indoraptor's DNA? Or do you think there's something else to this? And if this is the case, do, what do you think will be the future of the Indoraptor story? And will it be saved for something else in the future of the franchise? And if so, what do you think it'll be? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. And I want to apologize also for being gone for these theories for so long. I've had issues with um, the editing software, but we're finally back at it. And it's great to get back to these theories. I hope to see you again for future ones. But you know the drill, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until the next Dress World Dominion Theory video, I'll see you later. Bye bye